The members of the board, including Jeff, which would be Kate, Tyler, and Ann, uh, violated Chapter 13 of the Public Records and Proceedings Chapter, Subchapter 1, Freedom of Access. Section 406 says public notice, public notice shall be given for all public proceedings as defined in Section 402 if these proceedings are a meeting of a body or agency consisting of three or more persons. Well, the three or more persons would be Kate, Tyler, and Ann in that meeting with Jeff. And then it goes on to say, number two, public proceedings. The term public proceedings as used in this subchapter means the transactions of any functions affecting any or all citizens of the state by any of the following. Now, when you met to hire CCI in a private meeting, when you decided to spend $12,350 of district money, that constituted theft. And theft is, is uh, defined as a person is guilty of theft if A, the person obtains or exercises unauthorized control over the property of another with intent to deprive that other person of the property. Violation of this paragraph is a class E crime. And this is title 17A, section 353, theft by unauthorized taking or transfer. The illegal meeting was the basis of you hiring CCI. And you cannot have a contract to hire somebody from an illegal meeting. So paying CCI $12,350 was illegal. Now, I've had discussions with uh, the chief of police, and the chief of police discussed this with the district attorney, and they've decided that they're not going to prosecute. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on between now and the end of the year, and, and I think right after January, I'll file a, a lawsuit against the uh, board in Superior Court in Maine to see if we can find a jury that thinks it's a crime. Now, I got 14 pages back from the chief of police on just discussing between you guys and the chief of police of why you need a police officer here. I don't know what kind of threat I pose. I'm 72 years old, I've got arthritis in both knees. If you want to get away from me, if I'm attacking you, just walk quickly away from me. I won't be able to catch up with you. And I don't think uh, this gentleman that just spoke poses a threat. I think he's just aggravated by the lack of honesty about the CCI contract and how it was handled and the fact that you had a secret meeting. And you guys are completely unapologetic about it. You're just very arrogant about having a secret meeting and making a transaction of $12,350 without any regard to the rules of the state of Maine and the rules that you're bound by. And I think when you do something like that, uh, it causes people who know what's 